Hi everyone, today we'll take a look at Team Germany for the World Junior Championship. Germany was one of the team most affected by the virus, losing several players, including first rounder by the Blackhawks from this year, Lukas Reichel, and Moritz Seider wanting, wanting to focus for the beginning of the NHL season. But will their depth and stars power up front with the likes of Tim Stutzel be enough to lead them far in this tournament? Let's take a look first at their forward score. First off, we have right winger Manuel Halberg from the Red Bull Hockey Juniors in Alps HL, the second league in Austria. He also played last year for the Wildcat Mountains and the Dem 1 Buccaneers in the QMJHL and USHL. This year, in the Alps HL, he have 8 points in 10 games. Next, we have Jakub Borzecki, also a player from the Red Bull Hockey Juniors in the Alps HL. He currently have 8 points in 14 games for them. Next up, we have Julian Krobot from EC Bad Noham in the DEL2, the second professional league in Germany, where he has four goals in seven games. Next, we have a small center, Samuel Dubé, also from the Red Bull Hockey Juniors in Alps HL, where he has two points in nine games. He also played four games for the Halifax Mooseheads in the QMJHL and add one assist. Next up, we have also a small forward, 5'8", Florian Eliash, playing for Elbroner Falcon in the DAL2, where he only played one game thus far this year. But last year, he played for the Jungadler Mannheim U20 in the DNL U20, the junior league in Germany where he had 49 points in 30 games. Next up, also a 5'8 player, Enrico Enriquez Morales, who is playing for the Star, Star Bowls Rosenheim in the Oberliga, the third league in Germany, where he has a good 15, 15 points in 7 games thus far. Next, we have Jan Nianuis from uh, the Hanover Indians in Oberliga, where he only played one game and had one point. He played last year for Team Germany, but had no points, but I think he will look for a bigger role this year. Next up, we have John Jason Peterka from the EHC München in the DEL. He currently haven't played thus far because the DEL hasn't started yet, but he played in the ICHL in Austria and had 16 points in 12 games for EC Salzburg. He played last year in the World Juniors and had 6 points in 7 games. He was drafted this year in the second round by the Buffalo Sabres, the third German drafted this year. He will probably be the second best forward on Germany behind Stutler and be an important piece on the power play as his shot is really solid. Next up, we have Philipp Reisnecker, who is playing for the Fishtown Penguins in the DL. He currently hasn't played yet for the Penguins, but last year he played in Oberliga, the third German league, and had 39 points in 37 games with Dogendorfer SC, and 5 points in 9 games with ex Baden Regensburg and played 2 years ago with the Mississauga Steelheads in the OHL. Next up, we have Joshua Samensky, who is currently in loan with Ravensburg Town Stars in the DL2, where he had 1 assist in 9 games. Last year, he played for the Owen Sound Attack in the OHL and had 20 points in 54 games. He is a big forward with his 6 foot 3 frame. Next, we have Jan Luca Schumacher from Hellbronner Falcons in the DL2, where we have two, 2 points in 6 games thus far. Next, we have 5 foot 6 
forward Marcus Schweiger from ESV Kofburen in the DL2, where he only played two games, but he played the majority of the season in the DNL U20 with, with the same team and had 12 points in nine games. Next, we have the best forward of the bunch, Tim Stutzle from the Ottawa Senators, Indiana National Hockey League. He was drafted third overall last year by Ottawa. He is currently on loan with Adler Mannheim in the DL. Last year, he had 34 points in 41 games with them. Last year, he played on the World Junior Championship and had 5 assists in 5 games. His skill set is truly remarkable, and if ever Germany goes far, Tim Stutzle will be a major reason why, because he is really a game breaker player. His skating is really strong, has a good shot, is a good playmaker, just a good overall player that will probably be a superstar in the making in the NHL later on. Now, last forward, we have Justin Volek from the Ravensburg Town Stars in the DL2, where he had one goal in seven games thus far. Last year, for the same team, he had seven points in 42 games. Now, starting at defense, we have Lukas Frad from Dresdner High Sloan in the DL2, where he had no points in nine games thus far. Next up, we have probably their best defenseman, with Moritz Sider not being here, that being Maximilian Grozol, who is playing for EC Bad Noen in DL2, where he had 4 points in 7 games thus far. He nearly got drafted last year in the NHL draft, but wasn't selected. He is a big frame guy and strong defensively. Next up, we have Simon Nip from also AC Bad Noem in DL2, where he had 1 goal in six games thus far this year. Next, we have Niklas Langer from ACDC Memmingen in Oberliga, who had no points in three games thus far, but he's being on loan from Hogsberger Panthers in the DEL. Next, we have Luca Munzerberger from the Kölner Junghe U20 in the uh, DNL U20. He currently have 3 points in 6 games. Next, uh, we have Steven Rabe from the Hanover Indians in Oberliga, where he had 5 points in 5 games thus far, and is being on loan from the Grizzlies Wolfsburg. Next up, we have 6 foot 3 defenseman Maximilian Schubert from the Red Bull Hockey Juniors in the Apsichel, where he have 5 points in 17 games. Now, last defenseman, we have Mario Zimmerman from Hivi Lanschut in DEL2, where he had no points in 6 games, but also played in DNL U20 with the same club and had 2 points in 2 games thus far this year. He is a small frame defenseman, as he is 5'7", but has pretty good skill. Next, starting at goalie, I would say probably their starter would be Florian Bugel from the Red Bull Hockey Juniors in Apsichel, where he have a good 926 save percentage in 13 games thus far. Next goalie is Jonas Gar from Krefelder EV. 1981 from Oberliga, where we have a goal average of 4.56 goals per game. I can't tell you the safe percentage because this league doesn't show it. Now, last goalie is Arno Tiefense, who is playing for Hellbronner Falcon in the DEL2, where we have a 8.18 safe percentage thus far in three games. So, there's Team Germany. Do you think they could surprise this year? To be honest, I don't know if they can compete against the, against the best because they lack a bit in offensive strength and they have a pretty small forward course that could be teared down by other teams. 
but nothing is really impossible when you have Tim Stutzer on the team. He will be a great leader. And not also forget Paterka that could ship in a couple goals in this tournament. Hopefully Germany will do well in this tournament and surprise. So next team will be Team Russia. So stay tuned. Leave a like on this video if you liked it. And subscribe for more World Juniors coverage and more videos surrounding about hockey.